Okay, we've got ourselves a new project here. We are going to take this grain bin, which is standing by these other bins. We're going to take this one down here, this particular one, and we are going to turn this into a gazebo. So the first thing, what we've thought of, what we want to do is we want to cut this in half, basically. So it's six sections high on the cement, and we want to take the top three sections off with the roof all in one piece and drive it down the road to my place about four miles away, four or five miles down the road. And I'm going to pour a cement slab and um, set it on the concrete and ultimately turn this thing into a gazebo. We have got some impact tools here and we're gonna have a go at it. It seems to be in fairly good condition. Um, definitely got some character on the outside. A little bit of rust here and there, but not overly rusty for sure. I was hoping to get it moved in the fall, but I had to pour my concrete slab and we ran out of time. We are at the bin site today and our one job, one thing on the agenda is to get this bin down. We're going to use some jacks that I picked up yesterday and some pulleys and take it down section by section hopefully we can do a couple sections at a time of course it has to be a windy crappy day out here rain on and off all day but we're gonna get her done all right we got our uh, jacks in position now we got our brackets mounted here we got a little bit of tension on these pulleys Hoping three of them should be enough, should be fine. Sure looks like it's gonna be okay. Now we're gonna take some trucks over here and we're gonna back them up, strategically place them and chain them or strap them to the bumpers to give us more leverage so these things stay in place. So we got to lift off, we're about three, four inches off the concrete pad now. And it's all, the jacks are just holding it up now, so that's pretty awesome. So that is working as planned. Now we're gonna go along and take off the bottom two sections here. Um, for my gazebo, I definitely do not want this bottom ring because it's all rotten on the bottom, rusted out. Keep the second ring. In case we don't maybe like one of these sections or something gets damaged. As you can see, that dude was quite a pack rat. They used to have this bin that's just full of garbage in here. Kind of cool to see the daylight in the bin though. And for the time being, it stopped raining so weather's cooperating even though it's about 45 degrees and pretty windy out there. So we're starting to take the bin down now and we're starting with the door and what we have is I believe it's a half inch uh, on the inside and a 9 16 on the outside and we just have one person with an impact on the outside and then somebody just holding a wrench on the inside and these bolts are spinning right off. 
there's almost no trouble at all. It's fairly old, but it's not ancient. So everything seemed to come off pretty good. There's only a couple spots right towards the end where we had to actually use a grinder to grind them off because they came off so good. Now we're starting to take off the bottom row. And we took them off two sheets at a time because I didn't want to fool taking all the vertical ones off between and pulling each sheet one by one. We just kept the sheets together and that would make it easier for the install too. I think there was a little bit of grinding going on right here, definitely. Um, starting to go with the second ring now, starting to loosen it up. Hindsight, when looking back, obviously should have just done one row at a time, but we decided to go for it and do two at a time. And that was a big mistake. You can see now how the wind is pushing. You can see by the evergreen too over the truck in the back how brutal the wind was on this day it was crazy. And then if you could, if I could see what the camera's seeing here, I would never do this. But you can see how it's swaying so bad. This is mid-April, but it's Minnesota and it's harsh. So in order to get these jacks to work, you just pull down on the little pulley chain, try to do them all three at the same time, and she lowers away just the same as you'd raise it up. Real slow. When this thing came off, you can see it's resting on the truck mirror. That's what's actually holding it up right now on that one side. If, it, if that truck wasn't there, if it wasn't able to slide down onto that mirror, who knows what would have happened. The main issue that I think was going on is we couldn't get the trucks straight away from those jacks because it was so confined. Another jack or two would have helped, obviously, but there's no way to go straight off those jacks and keep tension on them all the time. We had to park in all kinds of funny ways. I didn't do any recording of the rescue. There was a lot of moving trucks around and raising the bin up and moving it down. Perfect! Until we actually were able to rescue that thing and we set it down back down on the slab again.